Two global energy priorities today are finding environmentally friendly alternatives to fossil fuels and reducing greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide. Idaho National Laboratory researchers have invented a technology that can do both. INL's syngas generation from co-electrolysis uses high temperature nuclear reactor technology and solid oxide fuel cell technology to recycle carbon dioxide and water into syngas, the feedstock for synthetic hydrocarbon fuel production. This breakthrough technology also is called centrolysis, which is a patent pending process that leverages nuclear powered high temperature electrolysis at 750 to 950 degrees centigrade in a solid oxide electrolysis cell to convert water and carbon dioxide into synthesis gas. Using the well understood Fischer Tropsch process, syngas can subsequently be converted into synthetic hydrocarbon fuels. Alternatively, Centrolysis can produce hydrogen to use in fuel processing or for the hydrogen highway of the future. Unlike current fuel producing processes, centrolysis uses carbon dioxide from a variety of sources including coal burning power plant exhaust, biomass and agricultural waste. This carbon dioxide is converted to carbon monoxide, then combined with hydrogen extracted from water to produce syngas. From syngas, synthetically derived hydrocarbon fuels and products can be made. We've demonstrated the feasibility of the centrolysis process for producing hydrogen and carbon monoxide or syngas here in the laboratory over thousands of hours of testing. We believe this is an improvement over other processes for producing syngas because it can be based on non-carbon sources of electricity and process heat such as nuclear. We also have demonstrated that the overall process could be carbon neutral if the feedstock for the CO2 is, for example, based on biomass. By combining carbon-free electricity and heat sources, centrolysis essentially recycles carbon material from many sources, avoids consuming non-renewable energy, produces no sulfur, delivers a scalable process, and creates the potential for greater energy independence in the near term. For hydrogen production, the solid oxide electrolysis cell has conducting electrodes on either side of the electrolyte that produces hydrogen from steam on the cathode side of the electrolyte, while oxygen ions are transported through the solid state electrolyte to the anode side, producing oxygen gas. The exiting mixture, which may be 90% hydrogen, is passed through a separator to purify the hydrogen. Centrolysis offers an affordable, domestic, long-term carbon recycling process that produces the feedstock for synthetic fuels and hydrogen. This would increase America's energy self-reliance for transportation needs and manufacturing of products, plus significantly reduce carbon emissions to the environment. It also produces valuable hydrogen for industrial and energy processes, as well as for the hydrogen highway of the future. In summary, centrolysis consumes and recycles carbon dioxide instead of producing it, produces sulfur-free syngas for synthetic hydrocarbon fuel production, avoids consumption of non-renewable fossil fuels, produces hydrogen that can be used for upgrading poor quality oil reserves, and provides a bridge to the future hydrogen economy. Centrolysis offers a future where transportation fuels are domestically produced, environmentally friendly, and independent of depletable, polluting fossil resources. <laughs>